we now look at the last problem over here, number problem number three, not really the last, um, but the last in this sequence. So we want to find now this elasticity. It's called elasticity to the scale, the epsilon s. And we have lambda the scaling and f of lambda x and d um, f lambda x. This is a problem purely about notation because the only thing we need to know is how to calculate this derivative over here. Um, we say f is the function of x1 and xn. So risk scale means we have f of lambda x1, lambda x2, and lambda xn. And how can, now after we do this, this is now a function of lambda, and if we think x1, x2, xn, they are just constants. So how can we take the derivative respect to lambda over here? So take the derivative of this function f of lambda x1, lambda x2, and lambda xn. And here is a rule, this is called the chain rule. f itself is a function of n arguments. So we have this one over here, we have over here. We cannot really call this one x1 anymore, we can call it u1, u2, and un. And u1 is lambda x1, and u2 is lambda x2, and un is lambda xn. So if we take the derivative over here, because f depends on so many variables, and each variable depends on lambda, so we have partial derivatives again. This one is equal to partial derivative of f with respect to first argument, we say the u1, and then du1 d lambda. Um, and keep going like this until the last one. So partial f, partial un, and d un and d lambda. So we have um, my notation this is f1, and then this one over here, take partial derivative self with respect to lambda, it's just uh, x1. So we have x1 and xn, uh, fn, xn. Of course, if you remember, this is, these are, if we write down completely, f1 is still a function of lambda x1 and lambda xn times x1, and keep going like this. Fn is a function of lambda x1 and lambda xn and multiply by xn. So we have to take the value over here that lambda is equal to 1, and then we get that one. So if lambda is equal to 1, then what do we have? Um, we have on top lambda is equal to 1, so epsilon s, lambda is 1 now, and f lambda becomes f of x, and then this derivative over here, lambda is 1, so we have f1. Now, truly is a function of x1, xn, and x1, and keep going. And we have last one, fn, x1, xn, and times xn. Or in terms of the summation notation, this is 1 over f of x, sigma i goes from 1 to n, and fi times xi. And that's exactly what we um, are asked to prove.